fire. Oh my god. Okay, he just... They just one hit the Eiffel out of the sky. There he goes. He just teleported to the to the turret. Okay, we are here off site and we have a massive test server with a ton of different stuff. I'm in a KFC washroom and huge shout out to Soma WR for helping make this video. This would be impossible otherwise. So shout out to Soma WR. Check him out if you haven't already. So this is the Baglio robot, the ultimate phantom with ultimate scourge. And then we also have the Bursiglier titan so starting with the ultimate phantom so the blink ability is way better now it has immunity it has more durability more speed it has three mediums with ultimate scourge then we have the new titan we talked about this it is three alpha weapons it has a built-in rail gun which looks like a crossbow 850,000 hp and the 40 percent, i guess means 40 percent additional damage to titans and we use the vindictator vindictor last week and this is like a massive test server with a ton of different stuff so let's see how this goes so okay dropping in a canyon and i assume so he's got long range and close range weapons on this thing they haven't even applied the skin yet to this but remember we talked about this thing yesterday so the ability on the right side you can see it has this thing walks weird as hell. What the? He just dropped the teleporter. Oh my gosh, dude. The, the walking looks so buggy. Look at the walking, man. Okay, so you have access to all four weapons all the time. Okay, he's dropping his ability. And then... Dude, I'm so confused. What's happening? Okay, he's firing the... I, I, dude, the, the ability is confusing me. I, okay, so the ability's on cooldown now. He's walking with his laggy legs. It's obviously TDM. He does have an unstable conduit here, so he has the built-in shield breaker, and he's charging up the Super Titan in a second. Okay, drop the ability again. Dude, I don't even know how this ability is working. It's not doing anything. Oh, there he goes. He teleported. What? How does that make any sense? Okay, that is weird as hell. Okay, now this guy up top here. He's firing. I mean, obviously the firepower is really good. The HP is good. It's... This is looking like a, a behemoth 2.0, if I'm being honest. Dude, now the ability is showing that it's available, but it's on cooldown at the same time? Or is it... I'm a little bit confused. Okay, there's an enemy. Bad viewer. Okay, killed him. Okay, he's moving. Dude, this has got to be a behemoth 2.0. It even looks like an ardent behemoth. Okay, he got taken down. Okay, oh. Titan's still being charged. Okay, he's dropping the UE Phantom. Okay, this is good. I wanted to see this. So he's got 440,000 HP. And these are UE Scourge 3 mediums on this ultimate phantom. Dude, we knew it was either, either going to be the ultimate Riker or the ultimate Phantom, and I guess it's the ultimate Phantom. So remember, when you hit your ability, you get all those these boosts now. It's not just a, a teleporter drop. Uh-oh. He's going to hit. Fire, fire. Nice, got him. Okay. Okay, he's going forward. I bet, he's have, I bet he definitely has resistance with this thing, too. While you're using the ability. Oh, Shadow Dude, there's like four guys about to shoot at him. Okay, he's teleporting back. I, I gotta say, this thing actually looks pretty cool. Okay, he got taken down. He hit like four guys shooting at him there. Okay, Titan's not yet charged yet. Holy. Taking a long time. Okay, dude. Okay, the first robot. The back of the door. A little bit confusing. It sounds like you launch your teleporter turret... But then you like teleport to it? Do you like hit it, hit the ability again and teleport to it? I'm not really sure. A little bit confusing, but now we gotta look for the Okay, he's trying to charge up the, the mother not the mothership, the uh the old Titan. Man, I'm so, I'm a little bit confused why they didn't put either the robot or Titan on last week's test server. Just because of how much new stuff there is. Like we only got the new weapons last like, why didn't they put some of these new... There's three new robots on one test server. 
That's absurd. And yeah, like, dude, dude, the iOS, freaking iOS test server, completely doesn't work. So that was pretty cool to find out. Because I usually go on Android, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to go on my iOS device, my iPhone, and then, turns out, iOS test server, cooked. Okay, his Titan's now charged. I don't, he's probably just going to, oh boy. <sighs> okay, he's got melted in that invader. Okay, here we go. Ooh, teammates dropped one too. Okay, so he's got the new weapons, the ones that we tried out last week. The Vindictor, Vindicator. Okay, that guy's getting sniped. Okay, keep an eye on the right side. He's got two abilities. Okay, he's got a Titan Slayer there. He's got two abilities. He's got the one that's constantly charging, and that's the built-in railgun that's like the crossbow. And then it looks like, hold on, the jump? He's got a jump. When does the jump become available? Jump. Fire. Oh my god. Okay, he just... They just one-hit the Eiffel out of the sky. Double kill. Dude, okay, this is looking a little bit crazy. Doesn't this robot also have a built-in shield breaker? That guy's 800 meters. Look at look at the scoreboard. Bursigly error, bow. So that's the built-in weapon or built-in bow, crossbow. 935,000 HP is a lot of HP too. That's before pilot skills. Oh man, we gotta see more of that thing. Dude, that's insane. He, did he, he just, they literally like one hit an Eiffel. That was like a pretty good showcase. We gotta see all, all three robots, but man, okay. Um, Let's get into a second game here. That was uh, my, a little bit mind breaking. Okay. Okay, he's changed up the builds. He's got a sub, he's got subduer in the Baglior. Um, Redeemer, which one's he gonna start with here? He's going okay. He's going subduer. Dude, tell me this isn't just is it, this uh, doesn't look like an ardent behemoth. It's everything the ardent behemoth is, but just better. Okay, hitting his ability. Look, the turret just flew across the map. I we just saw that. The turret just flew forward, and then you teleport. Wait a second. Is that bugged? Oh, he's taking damage there. And there's their dune. The new dune weapons. That's got to be a bug, right? Okay, flung the turret. I saw the turret just fly 300... Uh -huh, 200 meters ahead. And then... There he goes. Okay, he just teleported to the, to the turret. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he just melted a dang on. Okay. Okay, so now I'm understanding the ability. You fire your turret like a Mars turret, and then you hit the ability again, you can teleport to that spot. It's it's kind of like the Phantom. I guess there's a teleporting theme on this test server. He's also with the Pascal drone lit up here. Great damage resistance. Oh, man, this ultimate... Why do I have to make the ultimate Phantom look so cool and make it so impossible to get? Yeah, notice gate ultimate. Ooh. Uh oh, back up, back up. He's got electric weapons. Uh oh, we got locked. Yeah, notice the ultimate scourge. Very similar to the ultimate calamity in the sense that they don't have a a lock on mechanic. You just kind of fire them, and they probably do way more damage. Okay. Um, Titan's not charged yet. Here's Redeemer. Oh. He's firing. Okay, dude, the one thing is, so now we have, we're going to have three robots with four heavy weapons. The Crisis, we got the Behemoth, and now we're getting this thing. I guess it's kind of a, oh, he just used a teleporter. It's kind of a good thing that they haven't used the, uh, they haven't broke the four heavy weapon slot rule yet. Oof. Okay. Okay, still being charged, still being charged. Titan still being charged. Oh my gosh. Oh, double, double UE Phantoms firing at him. Man, three new robots on one test. When was the last time we had three new robots on one test server? Um, oh gosh, dude, the Titan's taking forever to charge up here. 
I don't know if, they, if they've slowed it down on purpose or they're just... Okay, see, my assumption... Okay, Titan Stars now. Is that the Rook is going to be a good counter to this Brusagliar robot. Because it's got the physical shields and it can block the new weapons. So it seems like almost the perfect counter, but maybe that's uh, wishful thinking. Okay, he's grabbing this. He's grabbing this Stromboli beacon. Okay, he's moving. They got center. Whoa. Whoa. Shoot. Okay, those weapons are still crazy. Okay, here he goes. There's the Rook. Ooh, okay, the, the Rook. The, oh, that one. The second. The Titan beside us just smoked the Rook. But he took down the shields. Okay, last stand triggered on that guy. Dude, the, obviously these things go through last stands. Because they're alpha weapons. Okay, easy kill. Okay, remember, these are like Reaper, these weapons, and they fire two shots. I'm a little bit confused when the jump ability gets activated. That part confuses me a little bit. It seems like it's after you... I think it's at... Oh, Eiffel. Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel. That was even just big damage. Built-in weapon? Oh my gosh, this is going to be an Eiffel Destroyer. This is going to be an Eiffel Destroyer, 100%. There's another Eiffel there. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's getting... Ah, damn. The tower blocked it. It seems like after you... After you use the built-in crossbow, you get the jump ability. Which is kind... Oh, they mecked. They mecked. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I think this... The Titan is way crazier than the Baglio robot. The Baglio robot, it's kind of like a behemoth 2.0. You get it's pretty much a behemoth, but you get a teleporter. It seems like that's pretty much it. But the new Titan is gonna smoke every enemy Titan in range. The Rook might be the only counter to it. Maybe the uh, the Bedouir if he doesn't have a shield breaker. But I think he gets a shield breaker. Okay. Once again, shout out to Soma WR for helping out with the video. Big help. Check him out. Peace out. Meatball and spaghetti.